next we have a 58 Chevrolet. They don't roll the best. And spare tire broke off. And I never noticed before, but this comes with a spare tire cover. Never noticed that before. go like that hmm. they got a hopcap got everything there and a little cover Also got a broken mirror on this side. Add some weight on it. Kind of a good looking truck with the visor. Can't say I'm a big fan of the color. Maybe in real life it was better. Hard to see, but it's got the uh, small block V8 in there. I'm going to say 265 or 283. I'm sure someone, someone just let me know down in the comments. I wouldn't think it'd be more than 283. Three twenty-seven. Too early for three twenty-seven. Did a good job with the did the wood grain in this. Some of the others they didn't, you know, they just did a plat plastic. And got a little broken chain there too. Doors do open. Steering does steer. Whole lot on this one. Some really steer, some really don't. But let's uh that's right, like the last Chevrolet. Having trouble closing the hood. There we go. In. Push in. Uh, I think we're missing an antenna on this one as well. We oh, we got a broken wiper. <sighs> Wouldn't be good on a day like today. Kind of a miserable day. I've gotten up and turned the heat on and off several times. It, it has a thermostat, but. It's a little space heater and it's on the floor and the floor never warms up so it never shuts up it's uh currently 75 in here plenty warm when it's running man it gets cool and damp as soon as it shuts off shake up the old spray away Kind of reminds me of going to the car wash with a real vehicle. Get the foamy brush out. Or the foam cannon. Have you tried a foam cannon? I have a foam cannon from my pressure washer. It's just, it's just fun to use. A hard spot to clean on that bike. Well, this one's got a little bit of a wobbly wheel, too. Yeah. 
Once again, 58 Chevrolet Apache. Put the spare tire back here for now. You know, in the real world, that's where the spare tire would ride anyway. No one ever puts their spare tire back. Yeah, that's looking a little better. Okay, up next, <clears throat> we got the red 56 Ford F100. Never really, really looked at this one, I guess. But, uh, just noticing the paint has some orange peel on it. Probably won't run a good one to send back and get another one. Oh well, it is what it is. With the uh, 292 flat block. We are missing a mirror. Steering's not so good on this one. At least the wheel does not seem to turn on this one. I don't know if it was ever supposed to or not. But this one's fairly clean. It stayed clean. Got the wood grain bed. All in all, not a bad little piece. Um, the exception of the paint being kind of rough on it, it they didn't do a bad job. <clears throat> I don't know what their <laughs> their QC department was like, but it was they were off that day. It's kind of rough on there. Okay. Up next, I think we got another Chevrolet. And we got a lock washer for whatever reason. Ah, uh, bad troubles. Definitely bad troubles. We got a broken steering axle. Yeah. Broke both sides. It must have had a terrible fall. <laughs> the cameo is down. Oh, there it goes. There goes the other side. Whew. Yeah.
This also has the small block V8 in it. The detail's just not there on this particular one, and I, I don't really know why. Hmm. Oh. It does have some sort of spare tire door back here, which I'm probably going to regret opening this. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's there but it doesn't appear to be operation so I think we'll leave it well enough alone dang I hate that this one broke we might be able to glue it back together Click clean nonetheless. Needs help. Last for today, but not least, <laughs> maybe least. This is probably the truck we waited on the longest, the most amount of, of anticipation. <clears throat> it's a 51 Ford F1. You know, I mean, my dad had built a 52 Ford F1. So this model coming in was uh, pretty high in the excitement level. Um, once again, they used green, and the Chevrolet green, yeah, I think the Chevy should have been green. I think they should have picked red. I mean, our truck was red. I don't know. I never thought this color was very good on this particular truck, but it's the color they picked. I don't know. I think we kind of picked this one the most to, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think we're most most critical on this particular truck just because, you know, we had one, we knew so much about it. We never liked the windshield. We always thought they got the windshield wrong. I kind of forgot about it. You know, I forgot all about it. And uh, when I seen it in the box the other night, and I was like, oh, wow, and I was super excited. As soon as I opened it up, I saw the front, saw the windshield, and remembered why I didn't like it. I think they definitely let us down there. But the rest, you know, the rest is not too bad. I think the back window is a little too big. I don't think that was the scale either. This does have the flathead V8 in there. And they did make a means to uh, put spark plug wires on it. It's kind of a nice touch. I don't think the air filter is right. Should have been larger. Oil bath style. Door hinges are kind of large and don't make sense, but they got to work, so what can you do? The doors do open nicely. They did some silver trim there on the seat trim. And they did some silver accents inside with the heater box. 
which I don't recall that being silver from the factory, but um, it does stand out in there. A lot of times they forget about the inside. It does have the handbrake handle, which was a uh, pretty prominent feature in these trucks, so I'm glad that they did make some sort of an attempt to put that back in there. Um, yeah that's uh oh no not bad you know i'd have it on my shelf always be critical of it there's a horn under the hood i just noticed that and the missing mirror for that one chevrolet just i don't know well it just hit the floor it's probably gone forever So let's uh let's give it a quick bath. Well, thanks for joining me as I cleaned up the uh, uh, 50s and 30s. This guy's from the 30s. Um, truck collection here and a 90s model right here. Um, now is the question, do I put them back in a box and put them away somewhere or do I find a spot to build some shelves and uh, kind of enjoy them again? Uh, really, they're in a box put away. You don't really get much enjoyment out of them. So we'll see about putting some shelves up and maybe enjoying them for a few more years. And go from there. We'll try to do a few repairs. We've got the uh, Cameo here with the broken axle. We'll have to do a axle job on that. Uh, one had a loose wheel and a broken Apache here had the broken spare tire and we'll get that fixed up. And uh, maybe we'll look into some sort of spray on wax or something. I can kind of clean them up, make them shine a little bit again. Maybe make the dust not stick so bad. Um, but uh, kind of what you can't see uh, <laughs> all around you is uh, I'm surrounded by my toy truck collection of my younger years uh like i say i've you know lost that storage but that's a good thing um now i was trying to figure out uh, what to do with them and uh, where to put them um found a whole box of models that you know uh, model trucks like this that i built um really at some point in my teenage years uh, kind of forgot all about them uh, I've got one that's uh, needing some repair in the house, uh, an AC Mac that uh, I don't know when I built it. Came out pretty good, but the the glue is not good. I seem to battle that even with models I built just a few years ago. The glue just dries up. So I, I don't really know, you know, if you guys have a glue that you use uh, and you're happy with it, let me know. I'm really looking for something else that's going to work. Um, get several several metal toys and stuff that I probably will do some restoration videos on uh, here in the near future um, and some other and some other pieces that will clean up and and some honestly have degraded to the point where they're not uh, not really any value anymore so I, I don't know maybe we'll find a use for them or who knows uh, that's it uh, thank you for for joining me uh, 
probably do one more of these. Uh, I've got another box of cars and trucks I need to open and go through. Uh, and then we'll get back to some, uh, get back to some shop projects here. Um, got the three and one bender set back up, back together, adjusted. And uh, here for right now, um, I'm not sure if it'll stay here, but uh, it's a good, good spot on this bench that I put together back last summer. Got my three ton, a little lot of focus here out of the edge of the camera, but a three ton Arbor press uh, that I picked up at a yard sale. I uh, was really looking for a one ton and this came up at uh, a great price. So the rest is history. I picked it up and uh, that's it. Thank you for joining. And if you like uh, what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.